Hello everyone, GMGM. GM. I'm Nick from the Solana Foundation and I'm joined with Jonas, also from the Solana Foundation. Hello everybody. So let's just dive right in. Huge shout out and congratulations to the Helium Network and their developer team. Uh, the Helium Network has completed their migration to the Solana blockchain. That is, uh, that is no small feat. Yeah, I'm super excited to see that. And uh, I heard they even use compressed NFTs to migrate all their state to Solana, right? Yeah, so all of the hotspots and, and the actual like hardware that powers the Helium network, uh, they're all represented as compressed NFTs on the Solana blockchain, which is, is super cool. And then they also used uh, a similar techniques of state compression, but slightly different, to actually store the entirety of the state of the Helium blockchain as like a single account on Solana using a Merkle tree and compression. So that's just that's just so cool. Yeah, it's so cool to see uh, ne complete networks migrating to Solana. Another few cool things I saw this week, like um, the first commit is um, the CLI has now a find program address um, command. So you can very conveniently now directly in the CLI just type find program address followed by the program ID and the seeds and it spits you out the PDA. So I think there's something that was missing, like whenever you wanted to do that in the CLI, you had to write your own program or use the JavaScript. And yeah, now you can just directly do it in the CLI. So it's really cool. Yeah, it makes it a lot more, uh, a lot easier for a lot of developers and, and people working on tooling to just derive their PDAs really quickly directly from the CLI instead of having to like write some boilerplate code to reuse just to generate their PDA address or uh, derive their PDA addresses. So that uh, makes it really convenient. Uh, and I guess our, our proposal, SIMD proposal highlight for the week, uh, I'm going to go with uh, proposal 47, SIMD 47, which adds a new syscall or proposes to add a new syscall to uh, get the last restart slot. So every time the Solana network has to restart, uh, should we ever have to in the future, uh, this will make it so programs on chain can programmatically get the last restart slot so they can kind of tell if a restart has happened as part of like the hard fork process, which I think is, is really, really useful because when you take into account any time any blockchain is down for any amount of time or there's a delay in processing transactions, there's off-chain data that gets uh, stored in the chain via oracles, but if there's a delay in processing transactions on chain, those oracles won't be able to keep the the blockchain up to date with that off-chain information that could include like prices of of assets off chain like uh from centralized exchanges or things like that but what this uh this new syscall would allow it would allow these programs to be able to determine if a restart happened uh recently so that way they can handle that and try to minimize the amount of of arbitrage that is potentially happening and uh and limit some uh bad actions from bad actors which i i think is super useful yeah, that sounds really good. So in case it ever happens again, it will be not that such big of a deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. I found in, uh, another few cool things. For example, there is a there is a name service now. Like uh, basically it's a it's a repository open source which is like uh, combining all the different name services that currently exist on Solana, like for example, um Bonfida and uh, which was the other one you mentioned earlier? Uh it's the the Onsol team. Yeah, the onsol, and then it also, um, also provides like all the other endings like dot backpack, dot bear bonk, dot glow, dot poor, dot avc, and uh, it uh, creates a very convenient um, JavaScript library where you can just query the name of a certain wallet and the profile picture. And so, for example, you could now take your Bonfida address that you have dot sol, combine it with your Twitter account. And you would get the profile picture, or you can get the profile picture from a backpack wallet um, with from their name ending. So that's a really nice thing, and I'm very happy to see that that all these different services now get combined. And yeah, I'm definitely going to try it out. Yeah, for sure, makes it a little bit more convenient to try to use the different uh, like service providers. Yeah, and then one more other thing uh, that I found, like Helios, uh, it's an RPC provider on Solana. They released a cool new feature. It's like Solana program account webhooks. Like you maybe already know, like webhook uh, get program accounts is a very slow call because it needs to oh, yeah, very, very go slow. through the whole <laughs> memory and 
like try to find this uh, program accounts. And yeah, what they did now is they have a um, webhook for these. So you can just subscribe to a program and they will constantly push all the updates of all the accounts to you. So um, maybe it's still not the best way to rely on program accounts, but um, it's very good that this is now possible, I think. Yeah, more developer tooling for the ecosystem is, is always good. And uh, yeah, they're going, doing good things over there. I guess uh, it's kind of a lighter change log that kind of wraps it up here. So uh, thanks everyone for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.